time for me to get up out of this funk. today I was going to be leaving the house but I cannot find my wire cutters and I haven't been able to find them for a while but I have one other place that I thought I could check and find that wire cutter but it was not in my tool bag and I have no idea where that thing is at so I'm gonna run up to Walmart and see if I can find a small wire cutter not too expensive because it ain't like I use it all the time that's probably why I can't find it now because I very seldomly use that thing anyhow it's not too bad out here it's just raining as soon as I get back home I'm gonna start taking my tree down and getting that stuff just put back in the basement and it just looks like I'm going to go through a rough time down in that basement because I cannot even see the Christmas tree bag. So I know that I'm going to have to take a whole lot of that bull crap out before I can find that Christmas tree bag to put the tree back in. And hopefully all the containers that the ornaments came out of is close by. Whenever I start putting that stuff back in there and I'm trying to organize it so the basement doesn't look cluttered the whole time Christmas is up, I try to organize it really, really neatly, not thinking, keep it toward the front so that way when you go to pull it out, you won't have a hard time. But we will see. Oh, this is my stress this morning. It's a good day. I woke up. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. You guys, so I did find my little wire cutters after searching for them for about 20 minutes after I walked into Walmart. So of course the first place I go is the hardware section because I'm just not for sure really where you get them from. And I do believe that I could have probably had some wire cutters in my hand, but it was this big tool that looked like Some doll scissors kind of I really can't explain it because I've never seen it before in my life and it didn't say on the package what the purpose of this tool was for so I found an associate which was a younger guy and I said hey I was like I got some artificial flowers at home that I need to cut and I know that they have little wire in them is this wire cutters because I'm not for sure what this is exactly so he's looking at me he was like yeah he was like that should be able to get the job done for what you need it for and I'm like okay but nonetheless it still looks weird to me and I'm like what the heck is this I wish I would have filmed it because maybe somebody in the comment section would have been able to tell me what it was but anyhow I kept walking through the store because I was looking for something else and I come across Walmart's artificial flowers and um it was like little home decor stuff. And I saw wire cutters for flowers. I said, now this is what it's supposed to look like. And I wish I would have saw him again so I could tell him, look, this is what I was looking for. I don't know what this mess is me and you was looking at, but child, I tell you, whew, I was about to pay $11 for some tool that I didn't even know what it was and then the wire cutters that I found was $4.97 and I'm hoping that they're big enough because it seemed like those stems that I got from the Hobby Lobby oh my gym just fell over anyhow it looks like those stems are are too big for those wire cutters but hopefully it works out because I ain't trying to be coming back out here looking for anything
What up you guys? I got it all packed away except for a few things on the top and I gotta find a container down in the basement that can hold those three little trees right there. But oh my gosh, I have really drug my feet with this one. I've been just chilling, eating. I just didn't have any motivation, but I knew that I needed to keep going. Now I gotta go in the basement and pack this stuff away. Alrighty, you guys, so here's my tablescape. I wish I would have had like maybe two more flowers. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Hobby Lobby and grab like two more flowers to make it look fuller. But man, I love these big flowers. I definitely could use about two more, especially like one right here, even though, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to add like two more. I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby Tuesday on my off day and grab like two more. But yeah, this is what my tablescape looks like, you guys. It's just very, very plain and simple. I do not sit at this table at all, but I love to dress the table up from time to time. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. What's up you guys, happy Tuesday. It is video shoot day for the new intro. I pray that it comes out okay because that intro is gonna be up for quite a long time. And I'm trying to get my face together. I feel like I'm running kind of late. But as long as I can quickly throw something together here I should be fine because I already got my clothes out y'all in my mind I knew what I was going to wear for this intro and then when I went to try the outfit on yesterday it did not work out so then I tried on about four more outfits before I got to the outfit that I'm wearing today I'm so disappointed and the clothes that I purchased at Fashion Nova because they are too big. And I really like them. So I think what I'm going to do is replace them for smaller sizes. And I know that's wasting money, but I'm just going to bless somebody else with the other ones because they're just, they are too big and they are literally like loose and falling off. And these are like stretchy clothes. And I bought stretchy for a reason because... <laughs> It seemed like stretch works better for me now with my weight being the way that it is. I don't have to really worry about if I got to squeeze myself into it or if it's not going to be enough. And now it's just too much. So, yeah. Let me spray my face again because I don't wash my face. Washed all my stuff off. 
But yeah, I'm going to try to find a look real quick and then I'm going to catch up with you guys once I get my clothes on. I'll show you what my outfit's going to look like. And yeah, I am so nervous about today. Not for sure how this video is going to go. All I know is I'm going to film it. When I get home, I'm going to edit it and see what it looks like. And hopefully <laughs> it works. I think what I might do is as a cushion, because I do this sometimes whenever I'm doing an intro, I'll take a few extra clips just in case the clips that I was dead set on using don't work out. I can use my backup clips. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys because I got to go pick my cousin Davion up. He lives closer to where we're going to shoot the video and I just told him I would pick him up. So let me get done because I don't want to be running too, too late here. Alrighty, you guys, here is the beat. And now I'm going to get my clothes on because I know I'm running late for sure now. But yeah, that's it. I did this look here was the first look that I got when I first started wearing makeup. And what was the name of that? Shoot. I can't even, is that Woodwinked? I think it is. Woodwink, the black is called Carbon, and then Brown Script in the crease. But yep, this was my first look when I first started wearing makeup. So I just thought I'd just revert back to that. It's quick and easy. All right, y'all. Alrighty, you guys, so here is my intro outfit, and I'm just wearing some black boots that I bought last year. I haven't seen those things since last year, but yeah. Let's go make this intro, y'all. And yes, my room is looking junky. My studio is looking junky until I get back home to get everything back in order. Alrighty, you guys, I am all done with the intro, the intro that you guys saw when you first started this video. So let me know what you guys think about the intro. I was basically trying to perform my situation, how it ended in a funk and how we're just going to get back to some things that make you happy, things that make you want to do better and just enjoy living life as you used to live it. And so that's basically what my inspiration was. I hope I brought that to the table. At least I felt like I did kind of sort of due to this pandemic. I did the best that I could. I will finish the rest of this vlog on another day. So you will see me in this outfit again, but all of the footage was all done on the same day. I did not rewear my outfit outfit although I did think I was looking a little cute in this outfit today I'm about ready to strip out of everything I done finish pretty much doing all the editing work that I need to do for today I'm starting to get comfortable now I'm ready to strip out of my clothes and just call it a day so I will see you guys on another boring quarantine video real soon bye fam love you guys